Welcome back to the channel and today I have a super quick and easy tutorial for beginners. So we're going to be taking an SVG file which is a scalable vector graphic and I'm going to show you exactly where you can get some for heaps of them for free online, how to quickly download it and then import it into Blender as a 3D object. So there's a special import method you can use and then I'll show you how to add some thickness to it with extrusion, how to do a bit of beveling. And this is just a ton of fun. So I'll put a link in the description to this one over here. Um, you can just go ahead, click on a link and download it. If you want to try something else, by all means, go ahead and just type something in over here and search. And there are thousands and thousands of options on here. You can go with a cat or something if you want. But um, yeah, anyway, this is the one I've downloaded. And I've just put the downloaded file here on my computer or my desktop. So how do we do this? Okay, I'm going to open up a new scene in Blender. And the way we do this, I'll just get rid of everything here, is you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Import. And then you're going to go down here to Scalable Vector Graphic SVG and click on it. Then you can simply go to wherever it is on your computer. For me, I just dragged it onto my desktop. I'm going to see it here and click on it. And I'm going to go import SVG. And there it is. So it's a little bit small. So I'm just going to go into edit mode. And you can see here it's made out of curves. And I'm just going to take it and go G and kind of move it more in the middle where the origin point is. And then I'll go back into object mode real quick. And I'll just go RX90 just to rotate it. So it's facing upwards. and it by default creates this material. I'm just going to get rid of it so I can see it a bit better. So here we have it. It's already done the hard bit for us. Um, if we had to actually manually trace over an image, it would be a lot of work. So that's pretty cool. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our curve object data for the curves over here. And with this, we can go over to the geometry. And this is where we can do some really cool stuff. So the first thing is under the geometry here is we can come here to the extrude. And that allows us to add some thickness. So this is really cool. If you wanted to like make a 3D printable pendant or something, um, you could do it that way. So I'm going to go give it some thickness. And then over here under the bevel, this is where it looks really cool. We can come here and just give it a little bit of depth. Just so it has a nice rounded bevel. And there it is. It's that simple. So if you wanted to convert this to a mesh object, um, because at the moment, if you go into edit mode, it's just a bunch of curves, which by the way, are really handy if you want to edit it a little bit. So you can make some little adjustments. But at this point, if you wanted to convert this to a mesh, you can go Shift D to duplicate. And I'd always duplicate just so you have a spare copy of the original. And then you, with it selected, you can press F3 on the keyboard and type in Convert. And you can go Convert to Mesh. So now if you tab into Edit Mode, you can see it's Mesh. Um, it's very messy though, so if you wanted to, you could Go to your modifiers, add modifier, and go search and type in remesh. Click on a remesh and then um, come here to the voxel size, make it 0 0.005 um, and enable smooth shading. So now you if you go into wireframe, you can see it's very high poly, but it's you know made it a bit cleaner, not as triangulated, and you can kind of apply that if you wanted to. And um, you know, then you have a cleaned up mesh. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on um, getting SVG files and bring them into Blender to make some cool little 3D objects. So I'll see you guys next time and thank you for watching.